next concept uh, is uh, implementing the access uh, matrix so in the previous video we know what to mean by access matrix it is a combination of domains uh, and uh, the objects so domains are placed in the uh, rows like this and uh, objects are placed at the columns like this so that will be considered as an access matrix now how do you implement actually the success matrix in a system is uh, by using following methods so this is the first method that is called global table method in global table method so uh, it will be containing certain uh, tuples like rows okay now the tuples will be in this particular order it will be containing the domain information it will be containing what is that object which is in that domain and the last one is the writes that is permissions it can be read write or it can be execute anything like that okay so such type of uh, tuples uh, we are going to store in a global table okay and whenever we perform any operation on an object like uh, read operation write operation uh, execute like that okay so the global in the global table we are going to search that one whether uh, that particular object has this uh, right permission or not okay so if that permission or that particular tuple itself is not present then uh, we are not going to allow any process to perform that uh, operation on the object otherwise we can allow the process to perform uh, operation on that particular object so that's what the global table says but what is the drawback in this global table and tantandre so uh, maintaining these uh, informations will be very much costly okay as they consume lot of amount of uh, memory as we are storing this in global global table in main memory the memory consumption will be very much higher so that's what uh, drawback so the next uh, method of implementing uh, access matrix is uh, Uh, maintaining the list access list of objects so what are all the list of objects you are having uh, in your uh, computer system you will be maintaining an access list okay so what is that object okay and what is the type of access you are going to perform on that particular object okay so and uh, who uh, which domain or which process has to access that particular object those informations you will be having in an access list so it will be in the uh, following format access list it will be containing the domain it will be containing the rights set okay as i said we, uh, we have some certain domains like d1 d2 d3 etc okay so those domains number will be written here and uh, right set means it can be read write execute like that okay so which are all uh, the objects coming in this uh, domain all the objects will be having this rights set anta artha so that's how the you are implementing the access matrix so the third one is a capability list okay now capability list uh, uh, will be containing uh, information about uh, uh, each row which is present in your access matrix will be containing the domain information okay and the list capability list will be holding list of objects okay and uh, what are all the operations you are performing on that particular object so those informations are present in that uh, capability list so that's why it is uh, the name given capability list for the domain every domain will be having a capability list like that like this okay and uh, the last uh, method of implementing uh, access uh, uh, matrix is a lock key mechanism so lock key mechanism here we will be having a unique bit pattern for each and every object which you uh, represent in an access matrix okay so these bit patterns we normally call them as locks anta karithi okay and each domain will be having uh, a uh, list of objects and uh, list of bit patterns okay so every time when you perform uh, any operation uh, on these uh, particular objects so this bit pattern will be examined okay so those that those are called as keys anta karithi so if these bit patterns are uh, matching then only uh, the users are allowed to to do any operation on that object 
or over the object otherwise you are not allowed to do any operation on that object okay and these lists are maintained or managed uh, by the operating system okay on behalf of the domains okay so those are the major important uh, steps in implementing the access matrix